Okay. Let's check this game out. I don't know what we're getting into with this. I've heard it's kind of cool, but that's like all I know about it. You spelled Death Spank wrong? Isn't Death Spank that RPG coming out soon? I'm actually looking at that one, I think. Hey, Dutch guy. Hmm. Weather does not only affect your stat changes, but also how far you can see. Keep an eye on the weather display at the bottom left. Choose your mountaineer. Uh, let's start with adventurer. Allows players to rest in the tent. I, I don't know what any of this means, so. You've divvied down in the, into the briny depths of the oceans in search of lost treasure. Research long extinct cultures in the deepest rainforest and unearth ancient ruin and endless deserts. No adventure was ever big enough for you and nothing ever got in your way. Now a new challenge awaits you. A remote island long concealed behind a blanket of fog. A mountain range of which there is no record. And peaks that tower above the heavens just waiting to be scaled. This is the stuff of, of adventurers' dreams and your chance to get your name in the history books. Let's do normal. Uh, yeah, I can't do the other ones. Mountain one. Unusual phenomenon. Eerie surroundings. Minus one. Wait, there's sanity? Okay. As you stand at the base of the mountain, looking up at the summit, you sense an adventure awaits. The island is shrouded in mystery. Why couldn't it be found on a map all these years? Are the rumors about a group of unknown occupiers true? And who are the people that live here? As much as you would like to know, your most burning desire is to be the first to scale the summit. That's why you're here risking your life. Get XP. Hold the middle mouse button and move the camera to rotate it. Scroll with the mouse wheel to change the camera distance from the character. Click with the left mouse button on a valid tile to add a marker in which a character should move. Another click on the goal starts the movement. With a right click, you can remove the last set marker of the entire path if only one marker was set. Stone terrain, energy and time cost for moving on the equipment of your character. Danger terrain, unpredictable. Snowy terrain. Danger, unpredictable things happen. Ice terrain. Okay. There are various types of events that can occur on the mountain. If you step on a field with such a marker, an event gets triggered. Health, energy, sanity, and oxygen and body temperature are all things. When a stat other than health reaches zero, your status is critical. You can see the path preview when you will definitely hit the critical status. If you can continue to climb in this condition, you will face dangerous critical events. Be careful. Once your experience reaches a certain threshold, you can level up your character. You can choose between multiple skills with each level up. Normal. There's different weather effects. Okay. Events challenge you to make difficult choices with various outcomes. Careful when time passes in an event, you might gain or lose stats like body temperature based on the condition of the mountain. Sleeping is a good way to restore energy. Okay. Okay. Treasure? Okay, let's go here. Nearby the camp, there's a couple of empty bottle, bottled oxygen tanks. You can take them, take the time and search the tent. Oh, oh, this takes time down here. Uh, I thoroughly searched the tents. Find two bottled oxygen tanks. Okay. Uh, sure. Consumables expert, night climber, or event experts. Interesting. Do event expert. Because why not? Uh, let's go over to... Oh, dude, wait. How big is this thing? Oh, 
it goes like all the oh damn that's where we need to get to <laughs> all right all right um what is this cave This is a roguelite? Yeah. If you enter a cave, it's dry and sheltered from the wind. However, you notice a strong smell. I follow the smell. You go deeper into the cave. After a few feet, you come across a small water hole. A thin ray of light falls from an opening of the solid rock ceiling and reflects off the water's surface, creating an intricate light pattern that mesmerizes you for a moment. Cool. Okay. I lie down and sleep. Sleep until the next day, I guess. Um, uh, sleep long. Oh, okay, my stats are already maxed, so I guess I slept way longer than I needed to, but it's almost day now, so that's good. Oh, god, look at this. Let's go over to here. Oh, Jesus. Um, can I move the camera around? I don't think I can actually move the camera. Let's, let's go over. Let's go over here first. I'm losing temperature and energy right now at a large rate. It looks like. No middle mouse button rotates, and we can zoom in and out, but I can't actually pan the camera around. Is this a new Final Fantasy Tactics? Yes. All right, what is this? Let's go to here. Oh, it'll show me what I'm going to lose by going there. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Like that. Oh, I can do a sprint too. Last for three hours. Okay. Final Mountain Tactics, yes. This is basically Hades. Mm -hmm. Is this new unrelated game name to make me seem witty? Yes, Splice420, it is. A blood-curdling scream rends the air. You stop abruptly and listen. The scream is followed by a snarl. You cautiously creep towards the source of the terrible noise. Behind a rock, you see a hunter armed only with a knife, locked in a struggle with a cougar. His face is streaked with blood. The hunter's pack is lying on the ground nearby. You can grab it and you never see you. Help the hunter! With a deafening yell, you rush towards the animal and attempt to tackle it. At the last second, it ducks out from under you. In a flash, it's on top of you! Its claws buried deep in your flesh. You grapple for a long while before the animal releases you and vanishes behind a cliff. The hunter has also disappeared. Dazed and in excruciating pain, you hobble off to find a safe place to tend to your wounds. Cool. Um, let's do, do it with the quickness. We're, we're going we're to become an event master chat this run. Well, that was terrible. Um, hmm. What a jerk hunter. I know, right? We saved his life. And he was just like, <laughs> nah, I'm out of here. Yeah, jerk. On a rocky ledge a few feet below you, you spot a tree stump with wild herbs growing on it. Get that ish. It seems as though the herbs are thriving in this climate. You're able to collect two big handfuls. Increases your sanity, but reduces your health. What kind of herb is that? Okay, okay. Um, looks like we're going... I want to see what this is. It seems like a terrible idea, but, you know, I'm full of those. Let's do it. Snowweed, probably. Is this my first time playing the game? Yeah, yeah, my first time playing this game. Can we do a thoughts video on the that game we just played? No. No, I, I, thoughts videos are if I have, like... Thoughts on a full playthrough kind of thing. Yeah. It's not for 
games that I definitely didn't even want to finish. My thoughts on that game is it is super indie and some people may like it, but it was not quite my alley. Yeah. An old woman sits in front of a crooked hut. She wears a friendly toothless smile and motions you to sit with her to recharge your strength. You do as she would suggest and regain your... Health? Oh, I would have loved to have regained some energy. That's too bad. Uh, let's go as far as we can. And then we're going to camp. It's like, dudes. Y'all like my red chair? It's pretty great. Okay, so let's go ahead and set up camp. We are gonna sleep here. So it only gives 24 and whoa. This does not give a lot of energy. Okay, okay. Damn, dude. Have I tried out Rhythm Doctor already? No, we may try that tomorrow. Yeah, it'd be fun. Do I have something to give me back energy in my pack? We'll have to see. Did I ever try Super Liminal? Uh, I think I think my mods were telling me about that game last night. Yeah, we may check that out this week too. There's a torn tent. You can take the time to search it. Oh wow, it's cold. Take a quick look. You find nothing useful. Cool. Over this uh, cave. It is apparently really cold. You enter a cave, it's dry and sheltered from the wind. At the rear of the cave, you notice a faint shimmer of light. I follow it. As you approach, you realize it's coming from hundreds of fireflies. Oh, that's cool. All right, cool. I lie down and sleep. Get some more energy. Also a little bit more body temp. Nice. I should probably level up before this in case we get some sleeping bonuses. Storm. Oh. Good. Specialize in moving through flat terrain. Whenever you suffer a dangerous terrain event, gain some experience. Reduce energy cost on all terrain. That sounds good. Let's do that. I'm surprised with the ending being the only thing locked that code didn't start Subnautica below zero yet. It'll take him a while to get to what's locked. Uh, I mean, we may start on Thursday. Yeah, I mean, the, the final patch is on, on Friday. But the thing is, and I need to make sure of this. Um, in fact, you know what? You know what? Let me do this right now. I was going to I was gonna do this earlier, but... Um, let me see. I think it's, it's, uh, yeah, here we go. Do we need to start a new game for that? If I start my run on Thursday, can I just download the patch and keep going on Thursday? Friday? Okay, so if if we if what you just said is accurate, then we may start Subnautica like Thursday. Um, I just messaged the community manager, and I'm gonna see if we can get some details on that. But that's a good call. We I'm, we're definitely starting a new game, but we'll we'll see. They it, they may like recommend starting a new game for the 1.0. We'll have to see. Yeah. There's an active fire pit, but not a soul around. The flames seem to be fighting the icy wind for survival. Watching the fire dance in the face of the cold is almost meditative. You watch it for a while and regain energy. Yeah, dude, there we go. Wait, there was an active fire? Whoa. Oh, damn. 
Uh, what? Okay, okay. What is this? Oh, that's when it turns night. Oh man, what what does this this mean? Oh, is that is that dangerous terrain? I, mean, I don't even know where I'm going. Right now. I need like a is there a map? <laughs> Jesus, dude. Um. That's right, Asleer. Thank you, bud. Let's go over here to start with. Nelia says, any St. Jude streams coming up? Um, unfortunately, I'm I'm not going to be participating in GuardianCon this year just because GuardianCon is basically happening in the area um, like where I'm supposed to be moving. So I don't know what it's going to be like. I may be testing new internet, so I won't be doing it then. Um, but we are definitely going to do some St. Jude stuff at some point this year. I don't know when, though. But yeah, we will we will do some St. Jude stuff. Maybe some more World Builder stuff with uh, Patrick Rothfuss. We'll see. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be doing some more stuff later this year for sure. When things calm down a bit. I think we have to go around. Okay, let's go up to here first. Yeah, we got a lot going on right now. All right, we're gonna go up to this event and see what this is, and then we're gonna keep going around the side. Fiction K is redeemed some chat love. Co L to you, my dude. Thank you, man. 40% energy cost on all terrain for three hours. Okay, that's good. What is this? You discover an intact tent. There's nobody in sight, but the embers in the fire pit are still glowing. The camp is obviously being used by someone. It couldn't contain valuable items. Search it! A tent with an unusual symbol catches your eye. You plunder it and find valuable equipment? Yo! Cool. Okay. I'm, I'm going to take your gloves. I'm a thief! Yeah. Use this and this. So some of these are, are like this and some are glowing. I wonder if that means they're better. Or like, I don't know what that means actually. This game looks legit. I just bought this game on Steam. Cool, man. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, this game looks like it could be a lot of fun. I've just started it, so I don't really know much about it yet. You catch a whiff of a tantalizing fragrance on the breeze. You follow your nose, which leads you to an indigenous man standing in front of a ramshackle hut, a mysterious brew bubbling away in his brewing kettle as it sits over an open fire. The scent alone is invigorating. What sort of effect might the brew have on you if you were to take a sip? I approach the stranger and ask for a taste. When the stranger notices you, he stares daggers. He shouts at you, and while you don't understand the words, you certainly get the message. You're not welcome. You don't want any trouble, so you continue your journey. Bummer. We tried. Uh, okay. Let's do this. It's gonna. We're, we're we'll probably set up camp up here. I'm thinking. We're gonna be low with a bunch of stuff. I think the map or free camera movement would defeat the purpose of the story. Being an adventure kind of includes not having a map and finding your path with very limited view. Could be Master Dolphins. Yeah, very could be. The game sound is very quiet. I can't hear almost anything behind beside the streamer talking. By turning that up. Oh wow, it's all really low. Ultra graphics! Is that better? Actually, it's still really low. Whoa! Lying on the ground are two dead mountaineers. It looks like they haven't been there for long. You recognize the symbol on their clothing. It's the same one as the one in the tent that you plundered. That was a random event. How's that, Mrs. Violet? They died because you plundered their tent? I, they did not die because I took their climbing gloves. You shut up. A golden eagle suddenly lands in front of you, its wings carrying it majestically to the ground. Fascinated, you watch it, and it watches you too, unafraid. You can't explain it, but the encounter feels magical. Fully wrapped up in this moment, you regain warmth. Nice. Okay. 
kind of want to go back to the... Oh, that's not happening. Oh, we're low on energy. Okay. Oh, it just got day two. Damn. Can I sleep twice? Let's, let's try this. Weirdly enough, it doesn't seem like there's... Is energy food? Here's, yeah, here's some energy. Huh. Oh, I'm getting less energy. Let's go ahead and max out our energy here. It's going to be night, but whatever. I'll make it work. I've given you a big hint on energy time management code. Just trying to help. What? Grip tent? It's fine. I don't need a tent. I'm a rugged mountain woman. Yep. Hey, I'm Geo. What's up, buddy? One thing you need to know is the higher you go up or down, the more energy time it will take. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Enter cave. It's dry and sheltered from the world. Uh, or the tunnel. You want to explore the tunnel, but it's so dark you can't see your hands in front of your face. Requires a torch. I step into the darkness. Wait, I can't go back? Fear stabs your heart. You cannot stand in the darkness any longer and you want to return to the light. Oh, damn. Yo, that was terrible. Uh, no, don't sleep. Reduce energy cost on ice. Reduce train. Uh, Alpine style one. You gain a special meditation event? Stop and focus your thoughts on the very essence of your existence. I meditate briefly. You feel much better after meditate. Oh, okay, okay. And we can do that every 23 hours? All right. Let's go. Mattman says, fun fact, real life mountains are also composed of hexagons. No kidding. How interesting. Thank you for that. Co notes, yeah. An active fire pit, but not a soul around. Let's get some energy back. Grab the loot. Oh, actually, no, basalt stuff does act, yeah, like Chad is saying, basalt actually does do that, which is kind of fun. Thank you, Triwar. Oh, you trudge along a slope piled high with snow. You sink deeper into the drifts with every step until suddenly your boot meets resistance. You push the snow aside, exposing a metallic surface with colored markings on it, faded but still identifiable. There's no doubt about it, you found the wing of a downed airplane. I dig deeper. You're engrossed in your work when out of the corner of your eye, you spot a billowing cloud of snow coming towards you. You quickly dive into a recess in the rock. Seconds later, tons of snow and ice come thundering down around you, up above you. You are plunged into darkness. The cold seeps into your bones and you gasp for air. Slowly you start to dig, calmly, carefully, until you burst through the mantle of snow and the fresh air flows back into your lungs. Wow. Talk about an epic freaking fail. My lord. Um. Damn, dude. That was terrible. Uh, I don't have any body temperature set. Over here. I don't think we're making it to the top of this mountain this time, this time guys. There's a cave near me? Yeah, yeah, there is. Maybe I should sleep in there for warmth, you think? Oh, that's dangerous. Let's go. Let's go here first. Oh, you need to go down too? Oh God, I have made a huge mistake. In a rocky hollow, well protected from the wind and weather, you discover a tent or what remains of one. There are slashes in the tarp as if somebody cut the tent with a sharp blade. Scattered outside of the, uh, the tent are items of clothing and provisions. Let's thoroughly investigate it. The owner must have had some kind of explorer and have been gone for some time and you don't think they're coming back. You find provisions you can use. 
Oh, hot tea, dudes! Yes! Awesome. Uh, is there a cave or anything nearby up here? No, so we're gonna keep going. Let's go to here. This stuff's out. I wanna see what happens when we move over this. This is considered dangerous terrain. I think it can trigger dangerous events, but it doesn't have to. Ah, here we go. While moving through rough and stony terrain, you step on a treacherous piece of rock, twisting your ankle. Uh-oh. Wow, ends in 24 hours, sprained ankle. Interesting. So Coden like Swan, I mean it was the the ambience was cool and everything, but it it didn't really oh it it didn't really do it for me. The the gameplay itself was a little not stupendous, we'll say. Um, see if we can get to here and rest. Oh, right when we get there, it'll be night. Good, we made it through that rough terrain. Do we have to go up this ice flow? Uh, explore the tunnel. Oh, man. Okay, it should really let you go back. Explore the object with my hand. You find some equipment. Hey, nice! I return to the cave entrance. Well, that worked out okay. I lie down and sleep. Sleep long. Yes. Cool. Heavenly hands! Getting some chat love. Co L to you, my dude. Appreciate that, man. Uh prevents critical interruption events. Increases max body temperature. Let's do on the edge. Let's do this. Thank you briefly. A little sanity, okay, okay. Uh, but we have to go back that way. Ooh, can we not go up here? Oh, we can't go up that way, so we have to go up this ice flow. Oh my god, there's so much, so much bad stuff over here. Um, let's go down here for, oof, here, here. Go up there first and take a look at our surroundings. Let's go ahead and pop these two. One stop. You see footprints in the snow in front of you. They've almost been swept away by the wind, but they're clearly human and very large, like those of a giant. And it would appear that the giant is wandering around barefoot. You follow the tracks to a crevasse where they end. At the bottom of the crevasse, you can make out a scrap of cloth. Did someone fall down there? You could jump across and pick up a trail on the other side. I carefully climb into the crevasse. You slip and fall down the crevasse. The impact is hard and leaves your head pounding. You're still slightly dazed when you notice a corpse. Not that of a giant, but that of a normal-sized woman. You creep closer and look into the two dark, empty eye sockets. What happened to her eyeballs? Could animals have eaten them? You search a torn anorak and find an identity card from a research institute for zoology and some equipment. Yo! Cool, but ugh. okay. Ugh. That's a little creepy, but we got the Kolu. Yay! Okay, let's go. It was a woman with big feet? No, I think whatever the big feet thing was ate the woman's eyes and then threw her corpse down there. going up here. You enter an expansive cave. Countless stalactites hang from the ceiling. Wait. Oh, yeah. Cool. Cool. Okay. 
You can't see your elevations behind your cam? Oh, let me fix that. How's that? Better? 